Hello everyone! In this video, we will learn two important techniques for selecting domains and hidden domains in Comsol Multiphysics. So, what you can see over here is a relatively complex geometry. Uh, this represents uh, a mirror and its mount that are used in optical systems. This is the reflective surface of the mirror, this is the back structure, and this is the mount. And these are the basically clamps spring clamps and this is the upper supporting structure this is basically a kinematic mount these are the screws that can be used to adjust the tip and tilt of such a system now often you want to select or you want to define certain fluxes or loads on certain surfaces since this is a complex geometry uh, i will teach you how to select certain regions and certain areas or edges in such a geometry. First, we will explain how to hide certain domains and certain objects such that you can select surfaces or domains that are behind the hidden objects. The first question that we need to answer is why do we need to hide certain objects or domain? Well, in this particular case, I want to select the back surface of the mirror. However, this back surface is hidden in this view since I have a back plate. This is the back plate and I cannot select the back surface domain. So I need to hide in this view this back plate. How to do that? To hide the back plate, I'm going to click on this button over here that looks like an eye at least it looks like an eye to me and if I click on this button you can see that the cursor changes and then I can simply select the domains if you cannot select the domain you have to make sure that here in this fall down screen you properly select what you want to hide in this case, you can select objects, so you're completely hiding the object. We don't want to do that. You can select the domains. This is the option we're going to use. And you can simply click on the domain that you want to hide. So we click on the back plate, and here it is. Here it is. We have completely eliminated from this view the back plate. And then we can simply select this domain or any domain that we want that's completely hidden. For example, these screws over here or these cylinders. Okay, so let's say we have selected certain domains, we have defined fluxes, loads, and we want to restore our original view. So how to do that? Well, over here, you can click and you can select, for example, we view hidden only. And here is our surface that we hide, or actually the domain. Or you can select the whole geometry and you can restore your original view. If you want to reset the hiding, you just click over here and you have reset the hiding procedure. So nothing is hidden anymore. Another technique that I find useful for selecting domains is the technique used to select the domains that are directly behind your cursor. For example, if I basically uh, hover over this surface, this surface is selected. However, see what I can do. Basically, my mouse has a scroll wheel. And by scrolling this wheel forward and backward, I can select the domain that's behind the surface. This is a very useful technique for selecting certain, certain edges. For example, over here, this is the upper mount and there is this bronze color behind it. If I want to select this bronze color, I will hover my cursor over the upper domain and I will just roll my mouse wheel and I will be able to select this domain. The third useful technique that I find for selecting domain 
is to use the wireframe rendering option. So if you click over here, there is an option for wireframe rendering and here you can see the wireframe of your structure. For example, if I want to select an object, this screw, you can easily select it. And similar, similarly to what I previously explained, if you want, if you want to select the surface behind the surface, you will just hover over the top surface, scroll up or down the mouse wheel, or roll it and you will be able to select the surface behind it. Okay, thank you very much for your time and I hope that you find this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you find these videos useful. Thank you.